Well, in our previous video, we have studied about trigonometric ratios, identities. So, here today, we'll see and study about some ways in which trigonometry is used in the life around us. Trigonometry actually is one of the most ancient subjects studied by scholars all over the world. Trigonometry was invented because its need arose in astronomy. Here today we shall see how trigonometry is used for finding the heights and distance of various objects without actually measuring them. So our chapter is on applications of trigonometry. So when we talk about its application, we have to know the heights and distances. So let us clear some concept before going to the exercise. Here we have a figure. Let us draw a line as e from the eye of the student to the top of the figure the angle formed BAC by the line of sight with the horizontal is called the angle of elevation the angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level that is the case when we raise our head to look at the object let us check it from the figure. Now consider this figure. Anyone sitting on the balcony and looking down at an object. In this case, the line of sight is below the horizontal level. The angle so formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is called the angle of depression. Thus, we can say that the angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point is below the horizontal level. That is the case when we lower our head to look at the point being viewed as can be seen from the figure given. Now, in height and distance, let us learn some short trick. Let us draw any triangle here we have drawn a triangle and there are three angle A, B, C. We know that the sum of three angle A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree. There is a theorem. The sum of three angle of a triangle is 180 degree. With respect to angle A, we write B, C as side A. With respect to angle B, we write A, C as small b. With respect to angle C, we write a b a small c so we got two case for tricks if the angle is 30 degree this is a right angle we have drawn if the angle is 30 degree then we have another 190 degree so another one will be 60 degree so we write 30 plus 60 plus 90 is its total is 180 degree so our technique is that we have the ratio side ratio as 1 is to 2 3 is to 2 let us see the another case case 2 if one of its angle is 45 degree another one will be 45 degree so the total will be 45 plus 45 plus 90 will be 180 degree the side ratio will be 1 is to 1 is to root 2 let us cite an example so in a right triangle ABC we are given angle B is equal to 90 degree and angle C is 30 degree. This must be 60 degree. So we have to find out AC and we have to find out BC. So how to find out? We have a side ratio as 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So E opposite to C is 10. So we will write here 10 1 is 10. 10 root 3 
opposite to angle 60 degree is BC so opposite to this will be this BC we have 3 is our answer opposite to 90 degree is our AC so is our 20 centimeter is our answer it's very simple to calculate now we have a question. A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of canal from a point on the other bank directly opposite the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. From another point 20 meter away from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and the wide of the canal. Height of the tower and wide of the canal BC and AB we have to find out. So for small triangle ABC, we write the well ratios 60 degree. The ratio of 60 degrees root 3. We have written inside a circle. So this angle will be 30 degree. This 60 plus 30 is 90 plus 90. Here 90 we have. So it will be 180. Opposite of this 30 ratio is 1. Now we have circled this also to remember that this for the small triangle. And this big triangle ADB opposite to 30 is 1. We have given two line below it. This big angle will be 60. Opposite to this will be side BD. We have written row 3. So, this triangle is saying that AB is root 3 and the big triangle is saying that AB is 1. This is not possible. So to make it equal, we multiply this 1 with root 3. Likewise, we multiply here also root 3. So we get it 3. Now we are to find out AB. So AB according to the formula axed ratio ax ratio is our root 3 into value is our 20 so into 20 then divided by values ratio this value 20 its ratio will be 3 minus 1 it will be 2 so this answer will be root 3 by 2 in 20 to 10 are 20 so answer is 10 root 3 height is height is 10 root 3 now the wide of the canal so wide of the canal value is 1 into the value given is 20 values ratio will be 3 minus 1 is 2 so this is equal to 2 tens are 20. So wide of the canal is 10 meter. So our answer. Another question. From the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of the top of a cable tower 60 degree and the angle of depression of the foot of the tower is 45 degree. Determine the height of the tower. So this angle and this angle will be alternate angle. So we write it here. Now in this triangle this one is 60 degree so this will be 30 degree so opposite to 30 is 1 and opposite to 60 the ratio is root 3 now we have to find out the height h so in this triangle we write root 3 and we try to find out the value of this part from here to here from this part to this part is 7 so small triangle arc ratio is root 3 into value is 7 of the ratio is 1 so it is 7 root 3 from here to here it is 7 root 3 and here to here it is 7 so height h will be so this will be 7 into 1 plus root 3 meter is our answer here another question we have an observer from the top of a 75 meter high from the top of a 75 meter high lighthouse from the sea level this is the sea level 
the angle of depression is 45 and 30 degree if one ship is exactly behind one another and on the same side of the lighthouse find the distance between two ship this we have to find out x here is the ship one and here is the ship two now the height of the lighthouse is given 75 meter so now in this small triangle we write the side ratio as one and this also will be one and in the big triangle opposite to this 30 degree is one so opposite to this will be this whole side so this is root three the ask question is we have to find out x the distance between two ship so the ask ratio is root three minus one value is 75 values ratio is both are same one one so we will write one so the answer will be 75 root 3 minus 1 meter now we have a question a 1.2 meter tall girl sports a balloon moving with the wind in horizontal it is moving in this direction and at a height of 88.2 meter from the ground the angle of elevation of the balloon from the ice at any instant is 60 degree after some time the angle of elevation reduces 30 degree find the distance this is the distance traveled by the balloon during the interval so we have to find out this part this x we have to find it out now in this small triangle what we do is opposite to 60 is this part from here to here it is root 3 the value ratio is root 3 and this is our 30 degree so this part will be 1 let us write inside a circle so that we remember and for the big triangle this one we have 30 degree here so opposite to 30 is this side this from here to here it is 1 and opposite to this 30 degree the ratio is 1 and this must be 60 so opposite to this will be this whole side so it is root 3 let us underline it now in the same height this triangle says that this root 3 the height this one these two these two line are parallel and the big triangle say this are 1 so it is not possible to make it same we multiply with root 3 and if we multiply this root 3 this also we shall multiply with root 3 to get 3 now the question is asking to find out this part x so the x ratio will be 3 minus 1 so it will be 3 minus 1 within bracket into the value is 88.2 minus this height will be subtracted from 88.2 1.2 we subtract and we get 87 value is 87 divided by values ratio is our root 3 so divided by root 3 so what we have here is 3 minus 1 is 2 into 87 by root 3 will be root 3 into root 3 174 root 3 divided by 3 3 5 is a 15 3 is a 24 so it is 58 root 3 meter is our answer let us check it again a girl is observing a balloon at any instant so angle of elevation of that balloon is 60 degree after some time the balloon moves to this position the angle of elevation becomes 30 degree if the height of the balloon from the ground is 88.2 meter we have to find out the distance travel in that during that interval of time so we write for this triangle the side ratio as root 3 1 
for this triangle we write the ratio as 1 and root 3 both must be same to make it same we multiply with root 3 here as well here we are going to find out the x ratio so it is 3 minus 1 into the value given for this triangle is 88.2 minus 1.2 is 87 so 87 divided by this values ratio is root 3 root 3 then we calculate it to get 58 root 3 we have a question a straight highway leads this is a straight highway leads to the foot of the tower this is the foot of the tower this is the tower a man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of 30 degree this is the angle of depression observes the angle of depression as 30 degree here 30 degree which is approaching the foot is going this uh, direction tower with uniform speed let us take the uniform speed speed as x six second later the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degree this after six second six second it takes from here to here the angle of depression becomes 60 degree find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point from this point to this point now speed is x is equal to distance by time distance equal to time is 6 second so 6x 6x we have here from here to here we have 6x distance for this big triangle opposite of 30 degree this side is 1 let us write within circle and this will be our 60 degree opposite to this angle will be this side full so it is root 3 within circle now a small triangle opposite of 60 this side so it is root 3 let us give two line so this 30 opposite will be 1 given the line from here to here it is 1 now for the same side it cannot be 1 and root 3 ratio so what we have to do is we make it same by multiplying with this root 3 here the same here into root 3 so it becomes 3 this distance we have to find out so what we do is the x ratio is our 1 here into given value is 6x divided by values of the ratio this part from here to here ratio is 3 minus 1 so 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 6x so it is 2 3 are 6 so it is equal to 3x x is our speed 3 is our time x is our uniform speed so time taken from here to here is 3 second this is our answer now we have a question a circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stressed and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope with the ground is 30 degree so we made a diagram this is the rope and it is 20 meter long which is tightly tied to this pole AB so the question is we have to find out the height H so by short trick 1 is to root 3 is to 2 so we have from figure we can write that 2 is equivalent to 20 
so we can take out one is 20 by 2 so this equal to 10 so if one is 10 so we have here 10 1 is 10 1 is 10 10 1 is 10 10 root 3 and 10 to the 20 so our height is a b is since opposite to c is 1 so our height will be 10 a b is 10 meter this is our answer so let us solve it in a general way we write we draw the diagram again to make it clear so in right triangle abc we have se equal to 20 ab equal to let us write h let us write h so we have perpendicular and hypotenuse so we are going to perpendicular and hypotenuse we have so we are going to use sine theta we are going to use sine theta so sine 30 is ab ab by se so sine 30 is half equal to h by 20 so h equal to 21 is 20 by 2 so 2 tens are 20 so h is equal to 10 meter is our answer our next question is a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degree with it the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter find the height of the tree so here we draw the diagram cd is equal to sc now we have to find out bc and sc if we add these two we'll get bd so we have here sc equal to cd that means we have to find out bc so arc ratio is 1 value is our 8 and the values ratio is root 3 so it is equal to 8 root 3 by 3 which is bc now we are going to find out se it is arc ratio is true into value is 8 values ratio is root 3 so 2 is just 16 root 3 by 3 so if we add these two we are going to get bd now if we add these two 8 plus 16 is 24 root 3 by lcm is 3 so 3 is 24 so it is 8 root 3 meter is our answer now in general form from figure we write height of the tree is bc plus cd so bc plus cd cd is equal to ac so bc plus ac we write it and ab is given 8 meter so therefore 10 30 equal to bc by ab we have written so 10 30 is 1 by root 3 bc by ab is 8 meter so bc we found it 8 by root 3 so it is 8 root 3 by 3 so again cos 30 is equal to AB base by hypotenuse AB by hypotenuse is SC so cos 30 is root 3 by 2 or AB is 8 by AC so we are finding out AC equal to 16 root 3 by 3 so AC equal to CD equal to 16 root 3 by 3 so BD equal to the height of the tree so BC plus CD so 8 root 3 by 3 plus 16 root 3 by 3 so LCM is 3 we got 24 root 3 by 3 which is 3 edger, edger 24 meter is our answer a question is here a contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park for the children below the age of five years he prefers to have a slide whose top is at height of 1.5 meter and is inclined at a 30 degree to the ground whereas the elder for elder children she wants to have a steep slide at a height of 3 meter and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the ground what should be the length of the slide in each case 
we have to find out this one in this case and this one in this case let us solve it for the first diagram we have it let us write a this one and this is as b diagram b so we have to find out this height so x ratio is 2 into value given is 1.5 and the values ratio is 1 so it is equal to 2 into 1.5 is 3 meter and for the case b second diagram x ratio is 2 and value given is 3 values ratio is root 3 so this is equal to 2 3 is 6 and for this row 3 we have given row 3 here and below it will be 1 3 so this will be 3 to 6 root 3 meter here the length will be 3 meter and in this second diagram the length will be 2 root 3 meter this is our answer in general procedure so in triangle abc we have sc equal to 1.5 meter so we have perpendicular and hypotenuse so we are going to use sine 30 degree so sine 30 is sc by ab so sc is our 1.5 ab is l we have written so sine 30 is half so l equal to 2 into 1.5 is 3 meter for the first case again in triangle pqr so PR is 3 meter so we are going to use perpendicular and hypotenuse so we are going to use sine sin 60 degrees PR by PQ so sine 60 is root 3 by 2 is equal to PR is our 3 meter 3 meter and PQ is L so L equal to 2 3 just 6 and root 3 goes down so we rationalize it so we got 6 root 3 by 3 so 3 2 jar 6 so it is 2 root 3 meter this is the way we have to calculate it so we check it again in triangle abc abc sc is 1.5 and we are having perpendicular and hypotenuse so we are going to use sine 30 so sc by ab 1.5 by ab is l so sine 30 is half so l is equal to 2 into 1.5 this goes up so it is 3 meter again in triangle pqr so pr is 3 meter so we are going to use sin 60 sin 60 pr by pq so sin 60 is root 3 by 2 3 by l so l goes upside 2 3 just 6 root 3 goes down so we calculate rationalize it and calculate and get to root 3 meter now we have a question the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from the point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree find the height of the tower we have to find out this one this height we have to find out now ratio for this 30 degree is 1 and ultimately this will be 60 degree so 60 degree opposite will be row 3 x ratio is 1 into value given is 30 value's ratio is root 3 so this is equal to 30 root 3 by 3 so 3 tens are 30 10 root 3 meter is our answer by short trick here in triangle abc we got ab as 30 meter bc is the height we have to find out so we have perpendicular and base so we are using 10 theta 10 30 degree is equal to bc by ab so 10 30 is 1 by root 3 so is equal to bc is our h ab is our 30 meter so h is equal to 30 by root 3 so we rationalize it and we cancel it 10 3 is 30 so it is 10 root 3 meter is our answer here a question a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground the string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string so we have to find out this one so the ratio of 60 degrees is root 3 and the ratio of 90 degrees is 2 so x ratio is 2 into value given is 60 
Value's ratio is root 3. So this is equal to 120 root 3 by 3. So this is equal to 3 4 is 12. 40 root 3 meter is our answer. General method, let us check it. Now in long procedure in right angle triangle ABC we have written BC is our 60 meter AC is our L so we have perpendicular and hypotenuse we shall use sin theta so sin 60 degree is BC by AC sin 60 is root 3 by 2 is equal to BC is our 60 meter and AC is our L so by cross multiplication L goes up so we rationalize it so it is 120 root 3 by 3 so 3 40 jar 120 so it is equal to 40 root 3 meter if it is asking the point where it is tied we can find it out a b as well so it is 20 root 3 1.5 meter tall boy standing at some distance from a 30 meter tall building the angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the building increases from 30 degree to 60 degree as he walks toward the building find the distance he walked toward the building we have to find out this part so for this big angle 30 degree opposite will be 1 ratio and this side this 60 degree opposite will be root 3 for this small triangle for this 60 degree we have ratio root 3 and for this 30 degree angle 60 plus 30 we have 30 degree we have this side as 1 ratio for the small triangle this side is root 3 for this big triangle the side is the ratio is 1 it cannot be so to make it equal we multiply with root 3 in each case here also we multiplied with root 3 so it become 3 now we have to find out this so ax ratio is 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 into given value is 28.5 values ratio is root 3 so this is equal to 2 into 28.5 root 3 by 3, 3, 9.5 is 28.5, so 2 into 9.5 is 19 root 3 meter is our answer. From this figure we have S equal to X equal to fd gc gc equal to y bd equal to 30 meter af equal to ge equal to cd equal to 1.5 meter so bc equal to bd minus cd so it is 28.5 centimeter so in triangle abc we are having perpendicular and base so we shall use 1030 degree this BC by AC so 1030 is our 1 by root 3 BC is our 28.5 AC is X so X equal to 28.5 root 3 now so we have in triangle BGC 1060 equal to BC by GC so 1060 is root 3, BC is 28.5, GC is Y. So Y is equal to 28.5 by root 3, which is equal to 28.5 root 3 by 3. So it is 9.5. So 9.5 root 3. Distance worked is X minus Y is equal to 19 root 3 meter is our answer from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the top and bottom of a transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 
60 degree and 45 degree respectively find the height of the tower so we have drawn the diagram here the building is 20 meter high we have to find out the height of the tower the angle of elevation is 45 degree and 60 degree we write the side ratio as for small triangle as one one within circle and for this big triangle the side ratio is for 30 degree it is 1 and for 30 60 degree it is root 3 so we have to find out this portion the height of the tower so arcs ratio is root 3 minus 1 value given is 20 and the values ratio is 1 so it is the answer is 20 into root 3 minus 1 meter by short trick in general form we write in triangle abc ab equal to 20 bc equal to x so we are using 45 degree 1045 equal to ab by bc so 1045 is 1 ab is 20 bc is x so x equal to 20 meter now in triangle dbc bc is our x 20 meter so in this 60 degree we are having perpendicular and base so 1060 bd by bc so 1060 is root 3 bd by bc is our 20 so bd equal to 20 root 3 up to here it's okay after this the same thing ad we have to find it out ad equal to bd minus ab so by calculation we get from here this is the same thing hope you are enjoying it a statue 1.6 meter tall stands on the top of a pedestal from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree and from the same point the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degree find the height of the pedestal this is the pedestal and this is the statue the angle of elevation with the top of the pedestal is 45 degree and then the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree and this must be 30 degree so for this big triangle the side ratios are 1 and root 3 we have given underline and for this small triangle the side ratios are 1 and 1 the height of the statue is 1.6 meter we have to find out the height of the pedestal so arc ratio is 1 into value given is 1.6 values ratio is root 3 minus 1 so this will be 1.6 the conjugate of root 3 minus 1 is root 3 plus 1 and downside will be 3 minus 1 so this is 1.6 root 3 plus 1 by 2 to 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 into root 3 plus 1 meter is our answer we can put the value of root 3 as well for example we have solved in this procedure what we have is here in triangle bcd bc is equal to h cd is equal to x so 1045 is perpendicular by base bc by cd so this is h by x so x equal to h so we write equation number one in triangle ACD AB is 1.6 BC is H so AC AC will be AB plus BC which is H plus 1.6 CD is our X we have taken so 10 60 degree 60 degree AC by CD AC by CD so 10 60 is root 3 equal to AC is our H plus 1.6 CD is X x means h we have in equation one after that we multiply with the same procedure we follow and we get it this here we have equation two poles of equal heights are standing opposite each other on either side of the road which is 80 meter wide from a point between them on the road the angle of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles we have drawn the diagram these are the two poles 
so for poles of equal height this value must be same so we multiply it with root 3 to make it equal and here also root 3 we multiply it to make it 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 so the question is ax ratio is root 3 into given value is 80 values ratio is 3 plus 1 which is equal to 80 root 3 by 4 so this is 20 jar 80 root 3 is our answer that is height of the pole is 20 root 3 each again we have to find out the distance of the point this point from here so we take it one so arc ratio is one value given is 80 and the values ratio is 3 plus 1 is 4 so it is equal to 420 jar 80 20 meter away from the first pole this first case second case the arc ratio is 3 value is 80 and the values ratio is 3 plus 1 is 4 so 80 sorry so 420 is 80 so 3 into 20 is 60 meter from the second pole this point is in general from for examination we have drawn the diagram so in triangle abc we have 60 degree here ab is equal to h bc equal to x so 10 60 degree is ab by bc so 10 60 is root 3 ab is h bc is x so x equal to h by root 3 which is equal to h root 3 by 3 which is equation number one we have written now in triangle ecd ed is h cd is 80 so bd is void of the road is 80 so 80 minus x and then 30 degree is ed by cd so 1030 is 1 by root 3 so ed is h so 80 minus x so 8 h root 3 equal to 80 minus x x value is h root 3 by 3 so we remove it to the left so it becomes by simplification we get 4 h root 3 by 3 so 420 jar so h equal to 20 root 3 so we are getting this the height of the to each wall poles so x equal to 20 h value is 20 root 3 20 root 3 into root 3 so root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 cancel so we have 20 meter from the first pole c is the point which is 20 meter from the first pole now 80 minus 20 is 60 is c is 60 meter 60 meter from the second pole this is our answer so here we have a question the angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree if the tower is 50 meter high find the height of the building this is the building the angle of elevation from the foot of the tower is 30 degree and the angle of elevation from the foot of the building for the tower is 60 degree so and the height of the tower is 50 meter what we have to find is the height of the building for this small triangle we have side ratios 1 and root 3 for the side ratios root 3 and 1 for the same side the ratio must be same here it is 1 and root 3 it is here so we multiply root 3 to make it same so we multiply here root 3 to make it 3 now the arcs ratio is 1 into value given is 50 values ratio is 3 so if we calculate this 50 by 3 
we get it 16 2 by 3 meter as the answer 16 2 by 3 meter as the height of the building which is our answer thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and feel free to comment below and don't forget to share and press the bell icon and you may comment the topic you want thank you once again please subscribe my channel